Uh, working in the same position, instead of looking for a takedown or anything, you have problems taking the guy down. So I'll look for strikes from the underhooks as using my knees and using my, or my elbows and my knees. I have the same position. I have underhook. Now for me to do strikes, I need his head at my waist level or underneath my chest so I get full strikes on my knees. So all I do is come from this position, I come to the inside, push across, I use this hand as a lock, I just lock right across his face, or across the back of his neck. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to circle, I do my step, my short step, I can pick it right up to a knee. Bam! Right from the underhook position. I go across, push his head away, pull it down, I step back, bam, I go for a knee from right there. This is one of the better strikes that guys that are wrestlers and trying to get a little wild. It works well. From uh, the same position, if I underhook, I go to throw a knee. Sometimes the guys try to shoot and grab the other leg. So instead of throwing a knee, I'll just push away. And right when I push away, I can pull him right back, right, right into my elbow. Bam. I look from strikes right from there. Things may get a little wild when you do that, but the chances of you hitting them with an elbow and a knee are very good and a very good chance of cutting them. So they're pretty high percentage shots when you do hit them with them. One more time, same thing. And I just push across, lock across, look for the knee to the head. If not, push away, come striking back with the elbow to the head. Those are a couple of positions that you can't strike from. Another strike that I could use for a lot of guys who do Valley Tudo where there is no other rules, I'm kind of um, cut from doing it because of uh, UFC. Just some of the rules, you're not allowed to headbutt anymore. But just for you guys who can headbutt or that it's able to do, I use the same underhook position. I can pull and push, and it's the same thing as using my elbow. Exactly. I pull and push, bam, I can strike. That, but instead, I'll push and then pull. Change my level and try to get my head a little lower because I don't want to get caught in the face. I want to use the top of my crown of my head, which will work very well because it's the strongest part of my body probably. I use, I push, and I pull. As soon as I pull, it's just pretty much like trying to lead him with the top of your head. I use snaps like that. So it's just like I push and I pull. Bang. I use off that position. Some of those can be a little better because when I do underhook, I'll hook the head and then headbutt. And I'll look for the slice on the bridge of the eye. Because when I grab the other side, headbutt to this side, or pull and push, headbutt to that side. That's just a couple of different um, styles of headbutts that you use from the underhook from a standing position. Using the same underhook, I can use uh, knee strikes to the body that work very well. If I work on the ab part of uh, my opponent, usually later on in the rounds, you can finish them with the uh, um, body shots. It takes a little bit out of your. Uh, kidney from it. So all I do is I work the same thing, the neck collar tie, the underhook, I pull, drop my hips back, and as soon as I come back up, I'm leading with my knee. Bam. I work for shots, maybe in the mid, and upper, and the side of the body. I have the same thing, underhook, pop my hips back, it's just like coiling up for my shot, exactly the same thing. I'm coiling my legs up to throw a knee. As soon as that, I go right for the body. Bam. And just look for a clean shot inside of the body. A lot of the times that uh, when you get an opponent that you're fighting that may be a wrestler or something, they try to come out and try to grab a hold of you because they want to get you to the mat. Although I'm very good position when the guys try to get underhooks on me as me being the defensive fighter. He tries to work for underhooks and I'm pushing away trying to block. And the guy's reaching, he's forgetting all about his head. That's where I can use my elbows. My elbow strikes will open him up just as quick as a punch probably would. Maybe even quicker because they're just as sharp. But he goes and tries to try to work and dig under. And I'm pushing away. And when I'm pressing away, he's pulling towards me. Now all I have to do is go across and just look for strikes. I'm pushing and he's pulling me so hard that it's just automatic strength for me to go through. And I just look for shots right off the bat. The guy pulls trying to underhook and I push away, come on in. All I do is come right across with an elbow. Come on, on each side. Even when I'm working right here and I want to work, I can come over from the same position. And I can come right to here. Bang. I look for elbow strikes. Just when the guy tries to underhook. When I'm trying to underhook, he's trying to underhook me. I'll snap the arm down, come with the elbow high to the head. These are just some of the positions that you could work 
while you're in the underhook position for striking. 